This will be a quick video just to compare diff clearances just for some fun. But we'll start off with Patagonia's and the stock straight axle. And then move over to the uh, big tire cars, Scramblers, straight axle. It's uh, a bit higher as you can see there. Now we'll move back to Patagonia's but MoFo RC portals. And that's about a five millimeter jump up from the uh, scramblers with the straight axle. Here we have mudslingers, MoFo RC portals. It's another good jump. And then finally, I've got my Tetra 24 with uh, 1.2 tires. And these get most of their the uh, most of the diff height from the tires because they're huge. They're it was never intended to have tires that big, but it does have portals as well. That clearance would even be larger if I were to put those uh, 1.2 tires onto the uh, Mofo portal set. They do have quite a bit more lift, and uh, it's pretty incredible what this thing will do on uh, rough terrain with no incline. It starts to do a little worse once you tell it to climb as well as go over stuff, but with that amount of diff clearance, it really has no problem going over everything. So that's just the uh, quick rundown of the steps. It's quite a bit different. I'm going to put the um, first car at the end so you can compare them. Moving sideways again. Stepping up every time. There's the Tetra 24 on 1.2s and back to the stock SCX 24 on Patagonia tires. Big jumps. That's all for tonight. Hope you enjoyed the videos. We'll talk to you later.